Good morning, First 15. Welcome back. So thankful to have you with me right now in a time of guided prayer. I am on the back porch of Casa de Cinnamon, and it is raining outside, which I don't know if it's raining where you are, but at the time of recording this, it was raining. I don't mind the rain in the morning, uh, but I prefer it to dry up so my kids can get out this afternoon and burn off some energy. Um, but right, rain or shine, I am ready to do uh, some praying with you and thankful to have you along with me. All right, so let's start off as we normally do in a time of praise. We want to make sure that we're giving God praise. In 1 John 3, 19, we read this. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. God knows everything. Think about that. There's nothing that escapes him. He knows the way. He knows the way back and he knows me. Uh, when I was a kid, once I got lost in a hardware store, uh, still one of the top five scariest moments of my life, right? Because here I am, this little kid in this big store, and I don't know the way back to my parents. I don't know where I am. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And um, maybe that's a way that you have felt in your life, not physically being lost, but maybe emotionally or spiritually. Uh, maybe you've just felt lost and you don't know what to do and you don't really know where you are and you can't find your bearings and you don't know what to do next. But listen, our God knows absolutely everything. There's nothing that he doesn't know. And I find great comfort in that. So let's go to the Lord and let's praise him this morning for knowing everything. God, you know everything about everything and you know everything about me. I praise you for knowing the way. I praise you and I trust you because you know it all. In Proverbs 14, 12, um, we read a, a verse that's interesting in, in contrast to the first John passage. In Proverbs 14, 12, it says that there is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. Um, so we serve a God, right, who knows absolutely everything, but often... I live as if I'm the one who knows everything. I live like I'm the one who has all the answers and I know all the directions and I think my way is better than his way. I think my thoughts are stronger than his thoughts or wiser than his thoughts and that's just not true and when I live that way I sin and I mess up and, um, and it's, it's, it's troubling because I tend to get myself into some trouble also so there's typically some things that have to be clean up and some apologies that have to be made because I chose to do it my way um, with just the limited amount of things that I know instead of doing it God's way who knows everything and so today I'm just gonna take a quick minute and I want to do some repenting I just want to tell God that I I know that his way is the right way and that I trust him and uh, to forgive me when I've, I've messed that up so uh, pray with me father I am quick to forget how great you are I lose sight of the fact that you know everything. Forgive me when I have done things my own way. Forgive me when I think I know better than you. Thank you for always leading me with your knowledge. Now, one of the great things, right, about God knowing everything is that he knows exactly what we need when we need it, and he knows exactly what to do and when to do it. And so this means that we can trust him wholeheartedly with everything in our lives, anything that we challenge, that challenges us, anything that we're facing, anything that we're unsure about, we can go to him uh, with request for his help or for his peace or for his guidance and we'll trust not only that he'll give us his peace and his guidance, but that he's going to work in the world and around us and in us and through us for what is best because he sees all of the pieces and he knows everything. And so his way is always going to be the best way. And so sometimes when I come into a time of making requests and asking things of God, I do ask specific things and we should. We should ask him um, for what we feel like we need and what we even we want to see happen. But I always want to walk away from a time of asking and requesting, knowing that God knows best and that what I'm really praying for, what I'm really asking for is assurance and certainty 
that what he's doing is the best thing. And I can have that. And so today, whatever you're facing, whatever your current struggle is, whatever your current trials are, whatever your current challenges are, maybe there's something going on in your life or in the life of a coworker or a friend or a family member, and it's just you're not sure what to do and you're, you're, you're challenged by it, and so you want to go to God with it, let's do that. And let's trust Him, not only just, I mean, not just to hear our prayers, God hears our prayers, but let's trust Him to do what is absolutely best. All right, so let's pray. God, I trust you because you know everything. And you know what to do in any situation. Please do what is best and help me to trust you in the meantime. And you might want to take a few minutes here, pause the video, and talk specifically about those things. Maybe mention those people by name. Maybe get into some of the details and the circumstances surrounding those requests. God wants to hear from us. And he knows everything already, but he wants us to communicate with him. He wants us to depend on him. And asking and praying requests reminds us of our dependence on him. And it gives us an opportunity to remember that we can trust him. So go ahead and do that now. I'll be here when you get back. And then as we close our time in, in guided prayer this morning, if God knows everything, right, then he knows today. Like he knows all of the challenges that today holds. He knows all of the things that are going to come up today. He even knows the celebrations and the things that are going to make us laugh and then the happy things. He knows what today's purpose is. He knows what today's plan is. And so why should we ever try to do this on our own? Why should we ever try to do today or any day on our own? Let's go to God and let's just yield today to him. Let's surrender back to him the day that he has given us. So let's do that. Father, I surrender this day to you. You know the way. You know what is best. Lead me today and I will follow. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining in today on another uh, First 15. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Um, miss you. Can't wait to see you face-to-face -face soon. And uh, until next time, God bless.